who will start things off for Oregon with the opening serve, which clips the tape. And McClellan lays out for an opening dig. Back set to Smith. And an effective one from Mosier. She is third in the Big Ten, seventh in the country in aces per set. Passed well by Oabete. Here's Oabete on the swing. In the back row, Terry. First set, it's it's early. Well, it's it's early in terms of the match. Obviously, no, it's after 11 o'clock Eastern time. We'll see the response from Illinois in the fifth year graduate student Raina Terry playing that extra COVID year. Pocket to put it in that same tempo and location every time. A little tight there on the pass. Oh, Febu makes the most of it. Pittsburgh still has not lost a set. They're the number one team in the country. They won again, sweeping Clemson earlier today. And they're 33 0 in sets this year. So that's the only loss that Oregon has on the books. It shows you. Well done. Who would have thought that Klein would be four for six and Brooke Mosier would be 0 for three? <laughs> yeah. It's Big Ten volleyball for you right there. And Mosier hits for one rotation. That is thumped by Mimi Collier. It's all Oregon. Making them pass off the net, really making it easier for that block to line up. Oabete's service run closing the door on this match, it feels like. Excellent effort from Christina Martinez, Mundo, Klein, Collier, it's in. Oregon against the call Indiana is tomorrow confirmed. night. Ball in, point Oregon. Illinois has used both their challenges. It all comes down to ball control on your side of the net, too. And I think right now they're not touching enough balls on yeah. defense uh, from the front court or back court. Remember, they are missing Caroline Barnes this weekend, not traveling with the team, one of their key defensive players. Well done, just over the top of the net by Oa Bente. Ducks have won nine matches in a row in their first ever Big Ten Conference match.